Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the best free Unity assets for July, August 2023, where I feature the best models, scripts, editor extensions, and everything that can extend your Unity development for absolutely free. And I'll leave all the links down in the description to even the other massive 75 different assets for this month. And do be sure to check out all the links in the description, especially the new Spectacular Sounds bundle with over 10 thousand different sound effect files and all the links down in the descriptions for all the best sales savings and everything you can find in game dev currently and do check out my patreon too to get over 195 different assets scripts and projects you cannot find anywhere else so first of all this is a special one because it's only free for the rest of the week that this video is out up until Thursday and it's the Skeleton Warrior Knight from Rossiev and this person has a lot of other really good PBR monsters, creatures and other stuff but the Skeleton Warrior is free if you use the code and I'll put it down in the description. So to get onto the best free assets for this month, first one is Happy Harvest from Unity. I have made a video all about this asset. It's a free farming simulator project specifically for URP to show all the great UI tools and visual effects and everything that you can make a full project in Unity for planting, harvesting and all the things that you expect from a farming simulator. Great, great code snippets and loads of content in there for you. The next one is the 2D Ultimate Side Scroller Character Controller, and this is perfect for side scrolling games with an advanced controller, which you can customize movement, state management, and input, whether that's Cinema Machine or other things like that. So you can use this with the Unity's animation system. Really polished, really nice to take into account moving platforms, slopes. The next one is something called Saved Settings, and this is a range of game settings which are just suitable out of the box. It's got already set up for UI buttons, toggles, sliders, drop downs, all the UI elements which you can save key bindings, resolution, anti aliasing, full screen, v sync, like my tutorial down in the description too, which shows you how to make a menu just like this. The next one is the FPS or third person map construct, which is a military outpost with structure and modular assets, fully featured with modular indoor, outdoor and restrooms with towers, structures, vegetation, vehicles and weapons. The next one is animated pixel art backgrounds free and it's four pixel art backgrounds suitable for loading screens or illustrations all the way up to 480 by 540 and the really cute little animations really nicely drawn. The next one is the Go Systems third person controller template and it's a full system whether you're experienced or not. It comes with basic locomotion, ragdoll system, camera support, IK support, zipline systems. You can set it up in just one click. It's got an event system so you can do all actions and you can add effects and sounds really, really easily. The next one here is something called Control Rig. This is a great way to set up inverse kinematics for characters and it's a fully animation rigging package with one click to use on humanoid characters. So you can simply just select your character, build a rig. You can have automatic bone and constraint configuration. You can have something that's really easy to use and flexibility and this automates the work that you'll need for using any sort of type of animation. Next one is something called Neato Tags which is a really cool little thing which is a tagging system for game objects. So it's a system that uses scriptable objects so you can have multiple tags per game object in a really nice way so you can click on the game object and realize that maybe what that was for or what things it actually does really great little solution. The next one is something called Tetra Attributes and it's a selection of attributes that can make your Unity editor look a little bit more organized and clean. Tile, read only, draw if a help box, a minimax slider, snap slider, required, reference path or a button. So it's really easy without you having to create your own custom inspectors. Next one is something called Rainbow Jump, which is a complete mobile game template. So think of it like an inverse of Flappy Birds. So it's a really casual thing with it's an infinite runner. You avoid obstacles. You can randomly generate obstacles, increase the difficulty, track high scores, colors, sound effects. It's got basic menus, UI animations, and everything to rate the button. And the next one is the mini modular character. And this is a low poly character with 256 diffuse texture maps around 3.2 thousand triangles. The controller doesn't have animations, but it does have fully rigged 
suitable for you to put a mechanism system in there. The next one is a set of PSX or PS1 style retro items, all in a really low poly style, which includes 20 low poly items, include USBs, batteries, cranks, valves, small keys, gears, and loads of stuff like that. Next one is the low poly FPS map light, suitable for all pipelines, and it's got pre-made modular assets with 16 different optimized models to create a very low poly looking sand or desert related map. The next one is the mini profile of three, which you can track frame rate and memory usage in a simple and lightweight graph, easy to add to your scene, just drop the prefab inside and literally away you go. And the last one is the surreal sky boxes, with 20 different beautiful sort of styles, which can really make your world very varied, whether that's in a really fantasy environment, whether that's in space, in a city, under the water, or something completely abstract altogether. So do be sure to check out these. I'll put all the links down in the description. You can get that free publisher asset, which is available now and for not very long. You can check out all the Humble Bundles and everything down below and all the best sales for this month. You can also check out my Patreon to get access to over 195 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And I wanted to say a big thank you to all my patrons, a special thank you to Peter Steiner, Mike Cullen, Than Chu and Isidora Negri for their amazing, absolutely amazing support. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.